three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's up, crew? It is Tuesday morning, which honestly, I don't know what that means. Failed this weekend, didn't go grocery shopping on Saturday or Sunday like I would want to. Also, as you probably noticed, there was no organic kitchen on Thursday or Friday. Darren had some family in town who are professional chefs and they decided that they wanted to help him out with cooking. God, a clean lens makes a huge difference. Who knew? Instead of ordering normal lunches from Organic Kitchen this week, I decided to just do uh, bulk meat and ordered the tri-tip, a uh, whole chicken and salmon. So this week for lunches, literally all I'm gonna do is grab the Tupperware that includes all of it and actually at some point maybe I'll just do all this work up front like <laughs> measure out six or five ounce portions into little Tupperware so I don't have to constantly weigh it every day. So I'm just gonna grab that. So the one thing that's not good is I don't have any vegetables. We didn't go to the grocery store. Well, I did go to the grocery store. I just didn't think of lunch. I didn't grab any good carbs to just throw on the side of that meat. And let's see, looking in the fridge. Yeah, there's not really any carbs. We got some moldy mushrooms that were are about three weeks old. Maybe I'll just throw dill in the stroller and take a trip down to the store. Let's see, do we have any black beans? Nope, no beans. No beans. There's that. So I actually probably should just, I'm gonna throw, throw, <laughs> use that term lightly. I'm gonna toss, it's a little nicer, dill into the stroller and head over to Zanato's, grab some vegetables for the week maybe. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Maybe grab some, some sweet potatoes, because those are good starchy carbs. Head over to Zanato's right now. And then of course I'm trying to finish to yesterday's upload. I spent a lot of time this morning trying to create a new intro. I hope you guys enjoy it. It'll at least be that intro for a little while until I figure out another one to sort of alternate. Here we go. Successful trip to Zanato's. Grab some sweet potatoes. Uh, I think yellow and red or orange sweet potatoes. Got some bell peppers and then no end some green beans, broccoli. I think that's it. So the idea behind this is hopefully there's enough car blocks to cover my zone. Thanks. Uh, to cover my, my zone blocks that I need. Maybe go again tomorrow if I have to. So this is sort of an experimental phase of zone. I mentioned having a good idea of what your meals are gonna be always helps, of course, keep you on track. I didn't quite do that. And life is just so chaotic right now. I'm trying to figure out the shirts so I can get you guys some cool apparel. I'm trying to, like, actually, I won't, I'm gonna sit down with you for a moment and talk about something that's sort of like speed bump for sure when it comes to daily vlogging a little bit off topic ranting <laughs> I'm at a point in my stay-at-home dad slash no full-time job situation where money is extremely tight. I won't go into details. Obviously, Sarah and I are totally fine. There's no issues with like 
making rent and paying bills and stuff like that. But me personally, if a friend invites me out for some fun, I literally have to probably say no at this point. It's just one of those things where you go from plenty of income to have fun with to zero, like literally zero coming in. I get clients here and there for uh, video work, but at this point that's paying off paying off my camera and that's paying off some of the equipment I've gotten so like I, I keep saying on the vlog like I want a drone and I want an assault bike and I want these things but I literally cannot get them because that's just irresponsible and I need to be more mindful of what I'm doing here at some point it would be really cool if I was able to make a living doing this providing content for you guys and hopefully many others in the near future but right at this point I've met that that part where it starts to sting a little bit like I don't have a stable income. I have just enough to pay for a couple things here and there. I thought I'd share that with you guys. I don't know if that's too personal or what, but it's on my mind, so I thought I'd share. So, time to eat some lunch. I love bell pepper. Bam! Holy with Jesus, yesterday's video took literally all day to edit. But I'm super excited about it. Like, I changed a lot of things. I found some really awesome music that I hope you guys like. It's a little bit on the long side. I think it's just under 14 minutes. I feel like my threshold now is about 10 to 15. And if I get over 15, it's like, ugh, crap, it's so much content. But sometimes you just want to share everything you shot for the day. If you didn't get a chance to watch the entire video, you should definitely go look at it. There's a lot of cool little things that I did. Um, that I've been thinking about trying and finally got a chance to do so. Sarah's we're currently working out. Dylan's like in between naps and I don't know if we might be skipping her last nap to test it out. I keep saying button and just stop that. Dylan just uh, took her diaper off by herself. I was letting her have some like diaper time. I was like, I turned around and I saw that she was just like one leg out. I'm like, wow, well, hmm, that's talented. Great job, but don't do that again. No. These uh, these new Metcon vans. <laughs> Met Nan. Go soft, bro. I have a soul line jump on the box. Yeah. So then, At the end of a warm up, can't breathe. Going down. Video. <laughs> mid, mid workout.
overhead squat, the most important thing to remember is that you need to lock out and have that active shoulder. This is the most efficient way to sit, uh, to hold the barbell overhead while squatting. And of course, the other efficiency tips of keeping the barbell over your body and over your heels is gonna make sure that you don't end up leaning forward or backwards and using too many muscles in the legs. Another efficiency tip, if you are mobile enough, is to go narrow grip. So the two different grips that you may use in an overhead squat, you'll see it in the wide. Uh, I use the wide grip first, and I went narrow grip for two reasons. One, it is the most stable way to overhead squat. It will reduce the fatigue factor in your shoulders, depending on your mobility, of course. And then for this workout specifically, it was also so that I can go from overhead squats to thrusters without having to drop the barbell and reset. Wide grip is gonna be easier because for the most part, you don't need a ton of mobility to hold the barbell overhead in that position. Um, of course, if you are lacking mobility in your upper back, it's gonna be difficult no matter what. But if you are super mobile and you're able to hold your arms overhead in that basically a jerk position while going into a squat, utilize that in wads that have a lot of overhead squats. It's gonna be more stable and you're not gonna fatigue as fast on the shoulders. So for example, a open wad like the chest to bar pull-ups and overhead squats, if you use that more narrow grip, now it doesn't have to be a jerk grip, you can go just in between those two extremes, um, you're gonna help reduce fatigue and therefore help the pull-ups in that type of workout. So hopefully this tip helps you out a little bit. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll answer as many as I can. We'll see what tomorrow's uh, brings us. Nothing about that was easy. My mind talks too much. It's like, shut up and let me move. I did the fist bump. I don't like the high five, so I always miss. Damn, Mario. Two seconds? Like, I had time. I looked over and you're like, time. You're, you're standing up. Time. I was like, damn. That was fun. That was a heck of a workout. I was trying to catch Chris. He's the guy that was right behind me. A movement in front of me and then two movements in front of me and then a round almost in front of me. That's why I went to the narrow grip so that I can go from overhead squats to thrusters immediately. And I think I ended up one round behind him, which was just finishing up the ones. That was crazy. I love it when I'm, I'm able to chase guys like that that are much faster than me in a lot of movements and it felt pretty good. Like I'm definitely feeling like I'm getting closer and closer to the engine I need to actually perform the way I want to in the open. That's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, hit that like button, share this video. Again, we're doing that giveaway. I'm gonna remind you guys uh, every video, the rock tape giveaway, you gotta go to that video. It's called the rock tape and the crew giveaway. Leave a comment down below in that video, not this one on that one, but leave a comment here too. Share vlog number 100, and then share any episode that you enjoyed that's your favorite on Facebook. Just make sure you hashtag Big Man Syndrome. On Instagram, you need to at, uh, tag me, at Big Man Syndrome. And I'm gonna tally everything up, drop names in a hat, pull it out on the 26th, and then we're gonna name a winner. It's for a roll of rock tape, a rock tape t-shirt, a crew t-shirt, and then Assassins if we get to 1,500 subscribers by Wednesday the 25th. We're definitely trickling up. I don't know if we're going to make it, so make sure you share, share, share uh, so that we can help this channel jump up to the next level. If you'd like to file a complaint or send some positive vibes, leave a comment. How many comments am I going to have you leave? Well, but until tomorrow, I'll see you later, crew.